Looks like he's going. He's up, uh, he's up, uh, running. What you want, what you want, what you gonna do? When Sherry John Brown come for you. Well, we saw a large group of individuals in a vacant lot near a uh, boarded up house. This uh, property and the area around it's known for uh, high. Uh, high volumes of uh, foot traffic and uh, vehicles to uh, make the block to promote and uh, the use and sale of, uh, of illegal narcotics. Whenever we got behind the vehicle, uh, we observed it possibly could be a hand-to-hand -hand while the vehicle was uh, improperly in the left of center and also uh, criminal stopping because someone was in uh, reaching into the driver window. We are taking a left on short towards uh, university. While the pursuit ensued, the subject pulled his vehicle into a driveway where I thought it was going to end, but the subject's done this numerous times and other subjects know the area very well, that it actually branched out onto the backyard and when in doing so he almost hit a bicyclist. The passenger, we later found out, was actually checked into a hotel the night prior to this incident happening. We had to do a SWAT call out because supposedly we received information that he was harboring a murder suspect in a uh, local neighboring city. Terrence, that sounds very familiar. You ever stay at the uh, super uh, at the Motel Six before? No. Okay. Last night. Last night? Was it room? Was it room two two eight? Yes, sir. It yeah. was, huh? That's odd. I left him over there, though. Okay. This vehicle, we've uh, received information that belonged to a, uh, a well-known company that leases out vehicles. And subjects are known when they're late on their payments to uh, fake a incident to where it revolves around a stolen vehicle. We received information that the subject that fled on foot that was operating the vehicle was the brother of the person that leased out the vehicle. The individual that we just took out of the car, do you know him? No. Are you gonna sign a uh, stolen vehicle uh, sheet? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I just have to advise you once you sign it, uh, that's that's taking a, you're, you're taking an oath that it actually was stolen. If we find out, we do research and it wasn't stolen, there is a statute to where you, you will have a felony charge against you, okay? If we, so. Legitimately, we need to know the truth. Was it actually stolen? It was? OK. She actually called the company where she got the, the lease of the vehicle from instead of calling the cops. So I think she wanted to cover her steps and report it stolen first with the lease company. At the end of the day, it's still a win because of the information that we received uh, for the SWAT call out prior to uh, harboring that fugitive. Also, the uh, leasee signed something that said that if she were to lie, and the investigation showed that she'd be hit with a uh, felony charge of reporting a vehicle stolen.